Hello everyone, good morning. So we just had a recent update earlier today. It's kind of interesting since if you're going to log in and you've already reached level 75, there would be a new quest available here, which is the Tank the Seagull one. And we're going to, you're going to get these boxes. We're in the build imprint selection gift and advanced imprint selection gift common imprint selection gift wherein you can choose your uh, seagull but this one is what I wanted to um, make aware of you guys we, because this is I think a once in a you, can, you only have one chance to get this one since it is a character based uh, type of seagull wherein you have the lord knight I think this one is for the paladin and the priest and so on and so forth since we're uh, a champion i'm going to probably i'm going to pick this one the one finger zen but if you are unsure of your class or if you're going to pursue your current class and if you're if you already decided that you're not going to be changing class you can pick this pick any of this but if not then i would suggest not to uh, pick or open this box yet since you won't be able to uh, get it again or I think you would need to spend uh, Nyan berries for this one but I don't I, I don't see it yet so be mindful of that one and let's see the seagull I'm going to put it now I think you can put it here in the build imprint we're going to unlock it first Alright, so we unlocked it and go to the build and we're going to just pick it. Wow, that's a um, pretty nice boost on the battle power. 1800 and what it does is when in battle, obtain 1 layer of Zen every 1.5 seconds up to 10 layers. So basically, 10 layers of uh, Zen, which means it would increase our true spirit by 1%. 1 layer of Zen will consume when casting throw spirit so if you have 10 layers of zen you have 10 percent additional damage on your finger offensive isn't that nice and another update would be this one the growth shop wherein you can uh, use your nyan and diamonds to be purchasing the a bonus pack wherein you need to have a specific level like the one in the anthem i mean alfheim but you need to also be careful since you need to pick which um boxes you want to open or which is essential to what you need like this one it provides level i mean rare card coupon but you need to be level 80. but if you have a lot of diamonds in yon then go ahead just uh, be mindful on which uh, boxes you want to spend on for me, I think one that I would prefer to be purchasing if you're a free-to-play or casual would be this one, the one that has a rare card album and the rare card coupon since you have a chance to get purple cards there as well as this one, the Sky Terra optional and if you think they don't have they don't have the one that can uh, increase your title Yep, but basically that's it you just need to be mindful of what you want to purchase on this one so moving on we have the the Jupiter's ruins now and you're going to be fighting a boss that instead of have like the time space anomaly wherein you're going to be fighting with your pets but for this one you get to have a party join you so isn't that great but it's kind of difficult i have a video of it after this so if you if you want to watch it and watch my team get uh, wrecked by all means feel free to do so all right so basically that's it for my update oh hold on i'm going to show you this one we now have a enchant more so basically we can have 20 times of enchantment and 10 times I wanted to replace this one. I want. I hope we can get 
a legendary bow. Let's try the 10 times. Let's just see what would happen. Alright, basically we're going to spend at least times 10 of it. I thought we would be getting a discount, but not. But I don't think they, <laughs> they, they have it. So let's just try it. Okay, so we got pretty much nothing. So if we're going to click, we want, there's going to be one that going to keep the stats. Alright, so let's try one more. Alright, nope. Let's let's end this one. <laughs> um I think you need to keep this one. So I'm going to be placed here. It consumes a lot, but you get the point of it. Enchant more. Let's try one more. Maybe I can get the legendary bow. Please. I have 71 more. Oh, come on. I didn't get any uh, gold stats, but it's fine. Alright, well, basically, that's it, guys, for the Seagull. You need to be mindful of this one since it is only a once in a once for your character. Not sure if they're going to be uh, having a. A purchase on that since I don't see it here wow all right well thank you so much for watching the video and if you want to watch the the Jupiter's ruins then I'll see you on the next one bye bye hello everyone so we'll be trying the Jupiter's ruins today so we have the despair anatos on this one so if you're going to notice this one has a shield and you just need to break it this monster's damage is pretty high can pretty much one shot you we have 10 minutes to deal as much damage as possible but don't worry if you think you're not doing any damage since it's absorbing your damage you see so you just need to have a high DPS when you're going to enter here. Don't worry if you're if you if you die, since you'll just be responded if if your party members also die as well, and the damage will be retained. So no no need to worry about that. And if you're going to click one, this is a fish type monster. I'm not sure why it hit category at small, but it's it's the <laughs> stats of it. Like, it hits like a truck. So I think you need to have a Flora card since this is a fish type monster. So you only have 3 minutes. So you just need to spam a lot of sack for this one.
you see the yellow bar the shield it's diminishing so you just need to be mindful of that one but already at around the eight minute mark before we can even break the shield All right, so we broke the shield, you see? We're dealing damage, but we're around the two minute mark. Since this is holy, there's not really, a, there's no converter that could deal as much damage to this monster. You just need to have a, a flora card, I think. Hey, we go 50% now. Not bad. So it has a mob. And we need to have a... Wow. I finished the dungeon and we can still have... We can still get this uh, fragment. So I think that is good. Wow. I can't believe I'm the highest damager. So it would probably best if you have a wizard for this one. Let's try it one more. So if we're going to run I already did this twice today and I got I got fragments but I, I think this is the only time the if it's available you'll be probably getting the one that you can deploy if not we'll just be getting the fragments so it's not that hard but the shield is really difficult to break so you would need a lot of dps for this we have a assassin and a sniper Okay, so we're doing pretty good on our second run. Not a lot of dying, you just need to stand in your sink. The higher, the better. Alright, so we're about to break the shield. This I can deal a lot of damage if I put in a fish property card. Maybe I'll buy one. Let's just test this for a bit. So I'm dealing around 180k damage. I 
I do have a lot of food buffs if I'm going to enter this dungeon. Okay, so now it's summoning. It's sacrificing its health. Yeah, that's the one that... How do you beat that? Yeah, you need to have a wizard in order to beat this. And you can't use any items here. Yeah, you need AOE. 